So this is a request video on how to create a cartoon character. In this tutorial, I assume everybody is already acquainted with Lightwave and they know the tools. If you haven't, check down in the description part. I've queued a beginner's tutorial that I've made. So we'll start by importing our image first into Lightwave. So I went on the net and I was surfing for some photos and I found these. So what I'll do is I'll select both of them, drag and drop them into the software and push D on the keyboard, backdrop options. So here on the back view, that's my bottom left. I'll import my image. I'll put the front and I'll resize it to five meters. And for the bottom uh, right, I'll import my side and I'll also uh, resize this to five meters. And before I go too far, if I actually zoom in here, you will notice this one is not on the center. So what I'll do is I'll go back to my bottom left and I'll move it horizontal to it looks to it's on the middle. At least you can follow the jacket line. Okay, just there. I think for this other one we can just move it back a bit just a bit okay just there okay so you can follow these values even this side you can follow these values okay cancel so i'll zoom in so i don't like usually working like this because the image is just too bright i can't I can barely see anything so I'll go to the image editor here and I'll change in editing I'll just change this drag it down to maybe something like that and even the other image I'll also reduce something like that so that I can see the lines properly so I'll get a box and I'll put a box here so what I'll do is I'll make a division on it okay and uh, what I'll do is space on the keyboard then while in polygon mode select this one side delete uh, point get the points and i'll select those two and what i'll do is i'll simply push v on the keyboard in the x-axis say okay so this will snap to the the middle line here space on the keyboard deselect uh question mark to deselect and what i'll do is I'll push shift a oh, shift V on the keyboard and while my mouse is on this screen on the back screen push N for numeric cancel this space and we'll come down here to symmetry and just highlight that so now what I've done is if I actually go to modify and get a drag to if I drag a point here it Whatever I do one side will be happening the other side. So I was thinking time I'll do this. I'll, so we start reshaping, we start shaping the, the mouth area. I'll go to the edge, select this edge, E for extender, T to move. I'll move it like that. I think I'll put like three divisions around here and i'll start rotating here t okay 
extend the rotate let's move it down extend the rotate t to move extend the rotate t to move okay okay while i'm just here what i'll do is space on the keyboard question mark to deselect i'll zoom in close to these two and what i'll do is and untick the, the symmetry here and then on point mode push question mark to deselect rows select this and that push v on the keyboard say okay question mark deselect select well, what we're trying to do here is to weld the points together so what happens is if you actually well, the point that i start selecting will snap to the point that i select second so if i select them like that then i push ctrl w they weld so this to that ctrl w okay and i'll go back to my symmetry and highlight it again so let's push a on the keyboard to fit our mouth area so what i'll do is uh control t or get the drag to it's the same thing that's a shortcut for the drag to so we'll have that so i'll drag these a bit up to follow the nose area and yeah just make these fall into line like that more like this yeah more like this then i will select in edge mode select these and push e on the keyboard t to move i'll move it up so what i'll do is while we are still here the drag tool just make this shape like this let's create this mouth area like this okay make it like this okay space question mark deselect while we're still here select these hold down shift to select more let's deselect those okay so i'll push e on the keyboard t to move and i'll move it this is a nose area so i'll move it like that slightly and while we are here i'll deselect this one the far end e again t to move move it all the way up maybe here e one more time let's move up and we have that we'll put it there space on the keyboard question mark to deselect i'll select these points here and e for extender t to move i'll move it out like this and what i will do is space question mark to deselect Control t i'll move these to the i To the side of the eye okay let's move it like this and what i'll do now is select this part to create the eye area e for extender t to move i'll move it like that okay control drag to just get the drag to and position those i think i'll put like three divisions here leave it at that space question mark i'll select this part e for extender t to move i'll move it i'll try to make three as well here while in point mode okay uh push the question mark to deselect those 
select all these points here and push P on the keyboard to create the polygon okay so push A on the keyboard so that we can see what we are making okay so what I'll do is control S on the keyboard uh, I will say boy face save so let's zoom in so what will happen here is in edge mode select all these here hold down shift to select a lot of them at once push e for extender h to stretch let's stretch it out okay so space let's see what's going on here okay question mark to deselect go to point mode question mark to deselect those points so you see these points here is this point and this point uh, what we'll do is we want to weld this to that and this to that so question mark to deselect uh, shut down the symmetry so select this and that control W to weld and this to that control W and then once we are done turn back the symmetry on and let's get our drag to control T and let's create a round kind of shape here on the mouth area space on the keyboard let's go back to point mode so while in point mode select one two three four points push p on the keyboard to create a face same thing here this this that and that push p on the keyboard to create a face so what i'll do control t we just move this so it looks you know a good topology is always good it's, you never go wrong if you've got a good topology you know we want this thing to be morphing in a human in a human kind of way after we are done so after this we come down here edge mode select all these down here extender h for stretch and we're going to stretch this out to move I, I can move it a bit down like that okay space question mark to deselect go back to polygon mode question mark to deselect those uh we we'll turn off the symmetry again so select that so i'll select this and that control w to weld this to that control w uh, control T let's just oops undo uh, don't forget the symmetry turn it back on so we are like that okay we'll go back to edge mode select the edges again E for extender H for stretch let's stretch it again T to move let's move this okay let's see what we are doing here just zoom out a bit Okay, okay, not too much, not too much. Uh, let me stretch it back in again, just a bit. Space, question mark, deselect, point mode. Uh, so what we'll do here is we'll reshape this. So control T, let's just move these out. Okay, so space, turn off the symmetry again, weld these points, control W, this to that, control W, and turn it on again. Don't forget to save, push S on the keyboard to save, back to edge mode, select all these faces one more time, E for extender, H for stretch, and stretch it out, 
okay now just to follow the the face space question mark to deselect Control t i'll move this close to that and i'll try to follow the face okay so space on the keyboard go back to point mode question mark to deselect the selected point turn off symmetry select it select this control w Oops. control w even this side and save so as you can see this side this is what we have it's like a plate okay so we need one last line so back to edge mode select all these oops uh we forgot to turn on our symmetry again so just select all these and if we extend that edge for stretch so we'll stretch it out okay so that's the last one question mark to deselect so we'll leave that one there now what we're going to do is select all these uh, mark. go back to point mode question mark to deselect make sure i've saved so i'll select point by point so if i select this t to move i'll be moving them this side to move them to follow the line this line here space question mark Okay, so you know it's kind of hard to know exactly where each point is supposed to go like a precise uh, place but what uh, what you can do you can just approximate say you can just think where would this point where does this point look like it's supposed to be so okay so this is the end of part one I'll continue in part two